Donald Trump has hit back at Robert De Niro after the actor launched an expletive-laden verbal attack on the U.S. leader at an awards ceremony. The president responded with a furious tweet, branding the Hollywood star punch and a very low IQ individual, after his onstage outburst. Oscar-winning De Niro dropped the F-bomb at the Tony Awards on Sunday night as he tore into Mr. Trump, which prompted a standing ovation. Mr. Trump, who said he watched the awards ceremony, replied, Robert De Niro, a very low IQ individual, has received a sick many shots to the head by real boxes in movies. Robert De Niro hit out at Donald Trump at the Tony Awards Reuters I watched him last night and truly believe he may be punch. I guess he doesn't realize the economy is the best it's ever been with employment being at an all-time high, and many companies pouring back into our country, wake up punchy. In his speech at the awards night, as he raised his fists in the air, De Niro said, I'm gonna say one thing. F asterisk 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 Trump. It's no longer down with Trump. It's F asterisk 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 Trump. Colin Callender, Sonia Friedman, and the cast and crew of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Parts 1 and 2 accept the award for Best Play on stage during the 72nd Annual Tony Awards. Nathan Lane accepts the award for Featured Actor in a Play for Angels in America at the 72nd Annual Tony Awards. Kerry Mulligan presents the award for Best Featured Actress in a Play at the 72nd Annual Tony Awards. Andrew Garfield accepts the Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role in a Play Award for Angels in America. Glenda Jackson accepts the award for leading actress in a play for Edward Ilby's Three Tall Women at the 72nd Annual Tony Awards. Bruce Springsteen performs at the 72nd Annual Tony Awards. Rufus Norris and the cast and crew of Angels in America accept the best revival of a play award on stage during the 72nd Annual Tony Awards. Tony Kushner and the cast and crew of Angels in America accept the best revival of a play award on stage during the 72nd Annual Tony Awards. Andrew Lloyd Webber and Cheetah Rivera present the award for best director of a musical at the 72nd Annual Tony Award A Crew of Angels in America pose in the press room with the award for Best Revival of a Play at the 72nd Annual Tony Awards B. Schaffer and Anna Wintour Claire Danes and Hugh Dancy Melody Hertzfeld, drama teacher at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, accepts the award for excellence in theatre education at the 72nd Annual Tony Awards Gavin Lee, of SpongeBob SquarePants. The musical performs at the 72nd Annual Tony Award. Billy Joel presents the Special Tony Award at the 72nd Annual Tony Awards. Bruce Springsteen accepts the Special Tony Award at the 72nd Annual Tony Awards. Mark Rylance and Claire Van Campen arrive at the 72nd Annual Tony Awards. John Tiffany accepts the award for Best Direction of a Play for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Parts 1 and 2. Neil Austin, winner of the award for Best Lighting Design of a Play for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Parts 1 and 2 poses in the 72nd. 72nd Annual Tony Awards Katrina Lindsay and Christine Jones, award winners for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Parts 1 and 2 pose in the 72nd Annual Tony Awards Sonia Friedman, winner of the award for Best Play for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Parts 1 and Two poses in the 72nd Annual Tony Awards Nathan Lane, winner of the award for Best Performance by an Actor in a Featured Role in a Play for Angels in America broadcaster CBS left viewers baffled by the scenes as the swearing was bleeped out thanks to the 10-second delay on the live telecast. OK, what did De Niro say that got censored and a standing ovation Tony Awards? One confused viewer tweeted. Another asked his followers, who has the uncensored version of what Robert De Niro just said? Tony Awards.